Hey guys, Firewave. Uh, today is the second story of alert. I'm going to be joined by the real cryptic bread and opinions from Sneaky Breaky. All right, our second story of the day. SWL was briefly griefed by loading an ex-admin of SWL. The name was changed to Sully's Clan War League, and the profile picture was changed to a picture of Sully from Monsters, Inc. I had just gone offline as my sleep schedule was messed up and I was going to go to bed at about 4 p.m. EST, but I briefly went back online to check things and saw the changes in progress, so I called him out on it. It's unclear if he intended to do any more damage, aka like a full-on raid, but luckily he left. Hey guys, we had two updates this week for Surviv, one of which was not taken very very graciously by the community and we're going to be having sneaky freaky with his opinion on this new update i i severely dislike it i don't like how they condensed everything and moved the actual playing to the side the playing needs to be up front that's the important part battle pass in the corners uh i like the golden pass i think it's interesting you don't have to pay money for it uh you can just get it by playing the game for a few hours or something i don't know how long it takes exactly I, love, I dislike the update though. Yeah, so this this update, um, you know, what can I say about it? It says here that we got ourselves here. It looks, it says so, uh, season three has arrived along with a new golden battle pass track. Couldn't they just said a golden battle pass? Anyway, special items in GBP can be unlocked using golden potatoes, which can be earned by leveling up your purchase in the shop home screen redesign which you can see has this pretty abysmal home screen. You saw that season three BS little page. I'll, pu I'll put it on the screen right now. And then, um, so that didn't go very well. Nobody really liked that. Kind of difficult to play as you see here. All the like things are here. You, you make a team and then you gotta do the classic and then the squad like that. And if they just had one button here, that would just probably be better. Bigger issue here is that they went full sellout. They're making money off of, it's preying on children. That's all it is. Ooh, drug, shoot up heroin, that's bad. And this fire skin at the back is broken because you you can't, can't see the armor that you can't see if you have a level one, no armor, level three. Does anybody know how many potatoes these give you? I'm wondering if, if you just started playing today, if you'd be able to get 4,000 to buy the pass. To be fair, these cosmetics look nice. And on to this latest update, they added the redacted crate here, the 700. Odds, 65%, 25%, 10%. I'll run the math on which crate is the best. Oh, they got rid of the legendary in here. I think it was like a 1% here and a 5% here. If somebody has pictures of that, could you please DM them to me? Pool of items updated for the crates. Okay, player nickname and account. Discount, now it's play to pay cheaper. All right, now here's a hot take on cheating for me and what it does to the competitive scene. The competitive scene right now is in a really bad state. And I think that's not really because of any one person. I don't think it's because of Libby. I don't think it's because of Congregate. I don't think it's because of me. A couple people have been blaming on me. I don't think it's because of Levi. I think it's because of the, the overall negativity of the community and the cheating involved. We lose the respect as a competitive community whenever we do stuff like berate Libby on stream, berate her even in DMs. The way we approach Libby should be the way that we would approach an authority figure. I know a lot of you guys don't like her. That doesn't justify you being aggressive to her, being rude to her, and it's really not gonna ever help you. Ever. Being aggressive to somebody that's not a way you get something accomplished what you guys need to do is you need to treat her with respect even when she's frustrating you i mean i look at me i've i've had to remind her like 12 times before i actually got unbanned from the subreddit and i haven't been unbanned from the survive main i mean things have gotten worse before they've gotten better but never once did i stoop to a, a level where that it would it would damage the relationship that we had between each other we always both of us kept it very professional amongst each other and and finally after it was close to two months that I, I did get unbanned from the subreddit. The reason why I got banned was because I called A spineless, which is true and also kind of BS, but whatever. I got unbanned eventually. I said this in chat yesterday. I think what's holding back the competitive scene is the competitive scene. I think it's the player base. I don't think we'll ever be taken seriously because, let's be real, the perspective of our scene is a bunch of 13-year-olds who are screeching at each other which is honestly not too far from the truth. So I implore you guys to please treat each other with respect, treat Libby with respect, treat people in Survive Main with respect. We are playing the role of a victim of like systemic injustice from Survive Main, but we're not making ourselves seem like the victim where we need to play as passive as possible. Make them seem like the bad guys, make us seem like the good guys. That's the only way it'll make it seem like we're not part of the problem here. So I implore you guys, servers like SCWL is not gonna help the competitive community. It just makes us look bad where 
hacking and cheating and um, doxing and all that stuff isn't really reprimanded. I mean, in fact, we had a big deal a couple days ago where people raided Libby's stream, more like just harassed her on stream. Why do you think she's gonna work with you when you're doing that to her? That's not fair, she's a human being. Whether or not she's doing a good job is irrelevant to whether or not you think that she should be harassed as a person. She could be the worst community manager ever, but that doesn't mean she deserves to get hate when she's not working. She doesn't deserve hate regardless. Think about it this way. We're doing this, me, my staff, we're doing this because we love this game and we love competitiveness. She's doing this because it's a job. She's getting paid whatever she's getting paid an hour. She's working the hours she needs to do and then she goes to bed at night. You gotta remember, she's not passionate about this game. It would be great if Congregate hired somebody who was passionate about the game who'd be willing to work 70 hours a week, but that's not what they did. They they hired her because she's very qualified and she has experience. So they've got themselves somebody who works the hours that Libby's supposed to work and does what she needs to do. We don't know what Libby's job entails. I can estimate based on what they told me that they wanted social media and to make sure that the Discord runs smoothly. There's a little bit of liaison between the developers and the community. But besides that, I don't know specifically what she's doing. You don't know specifically what she's doing. Only her and Congregate know what she's supposed to be doing. Not even the developers, not the mods of Civiv Main. So I implore you guys, please, please, please treat her, treat everybody with respect. Why not? Why cause trouble when you don't have to cause trouble? Approach somebody with respect so at least maybe they'll listen to me. They don't have to. It's one of those things where it's a two-way street. You have to give and take a little bit. There are policies in place. There's stuff that she can't just do. You guys have to work with her. You have to respect her. You have to respect what she's doing. She has a master's degree in this. She's been doing this for longer than most of you guys that are alive, to be honest. Treat her like she knows what she's doing. Okay, back to Firewave. This Wednesday, Cryptic was brigaded by Savage Alaska during one of his streams. Should we all go into his chat right now and say imagine view botting? Bet. <laughs> Imagine, imagine having the most views in the server category, but not being one of the featured streamers. All the sweats will hate me. I don't care. <laughs> Dude, like half the sweats are just toxic. That's why I don't play anymore. I don't really want them in my chat. They take the game way too seriously sometimes. So it's not even fun. All right, are you guys ready? <laughs> you guys ready? We're doing this. I, I'm going to regret this. This is going to start something, but it'll be funny. It'll be, it'll be real funny. Just say imagine, imagine view botting, right? Uh, Are you guys ready? EMR, type B. Like, you know what I mean. I don't know what the damage does. He, he can't, he can't ban us it all. Has to be high to MK all right, spam it. Imagine view botting in the chat. Imagine uh, view botting. EMR. Like, look at this. Look how toxic all the sweats are. Right, Can right. you butterfly click? Imagine view botting in this chat. M1. Just Here. Spam it. There you go. Yeah, like go with the M1, you should be sh like people like to shoot one shot like a Mosin, that's not how you're supposed to shoot it. And shoot like around like a speed, I mean, look like, at this. shots and then switching back. Who would want to chat like this? <laughs> he can't ban us all, boys. Get him! Get him! him Get him, boys! He didn't ban plus I was streaming. Ask him how much. He so can't ban us that all! Was that was that <laughs> I mean, he can't, but who cares? Yo, who's brigading me? Who's brigading me? Big way, I don't know. We're, we're not even, we're not even saying anything mean. We're just saying imagine. <laughs> and I mean, banned from Twitch and not. <laughs> oh, it's Savage Alaska. <laughs> What's up, Savage? Oh. <laughs> Against TOS. Oh no, I'm gonna get banned! Oh, Calling someone out for view botting against TOS! Oh no! Oh, Wait, no. Oh, again. oh no, I'm gonna get banned! Oh no! <laughs> Dude. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's funny. I delete your VOD just in case? What did I do? How is that against TOS? <laughs> All right, and now for more Keg W story. Uber got his account suspended for being underage. A little bit of an update for next season. Top 16 teams for this season will automatically qualify for season seven and the rest of the spots, which I don't know how many exactly, 16 teams that qualified this season. Jokers, QD, SV, Polaris, F tier, IC, Physics, 
TT, Dumpling, G15, Saturn, SN, Albatross, Dow, Riot, and SYN. So those 16 teams will be qualified for next season. The remaining amount that make up to 24 teams will be able to qualify through a small little tournament, which will probably be only like one or two rounds at the end of season six, right before season seven starts. I wrote a little write up about it on Reddit. I'll link that down in the description. By the way, if you guys want to follow our Reddit, you probably should. It is r slash Servivio CWL. I usually release the announcements a few hours or a few days before I ping everybody in chat. So you'll be the first person to know. Anyways, guys, that's all we have today and this week. I will see y'all next week. Remember, Everyone mentioned in this video will be linked in the description. Love you guys all. See you next. Just a reminder that there will be a podcast starting every Sunday now. If you're interested in being in the podcast, please let me know. We're not doing a big podcast like usual. We're doing kind of like an interview style where I'll interview a bunch of people with the same question, which means it's more flexible where I'm able to work around your schedule because it's just a one-on-one -on -one versus multiple people in the same voice chat. See you guys tomorrow.